What's going on, guys? Welcome to another Guilds of Ravnica Standard McMandard Draft. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Who knows? Who knows what makes sense? What even is sense? You know what I mean? Con concoct is pretty good. Connive is also pretty good. That puts us in pretty squarely in. Oh, he just caught you on the YouTube. Cheese Wisp, nice to hear it, buddy. Glad you could join us. I'm glad you could join us today. Yeah, I think this is probably better than. Uh... than anything else in this pack. Give me one second, I'm trying to figure something out here. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, I feel like the Challenger, because the pack has so much Boros, is actually worse. Because you want to take the blue-black card because no one else is going to be fighting you for these colors. Someone's going to take this. Then the next guy's going to take this. Then the next guy's going to take this. Like, with this, we have fewer competi less less competition. Crackling Drake. I don't like the color commitment for this card. Narcomeme is pretty unexciting. I think it's probably Discovery Dispersal. Or Deadweight. I'm not a huge Discovery Dispersal fan, but I might be underrating it. It's one of these two. It's either this or this. You are card us super flexible. I have no idea what you just said. Yeah, I'm going to go with the dead weight here. It's less committing as well. This is a late inspiring unicorn. We could be black white. That's an option, right? Command the storm is definitely an option. I think it's stronger than Omni Spell Adept and Lotleth Troll. And I don't care about any of the black cards. I'm going to take the Command the Storm. I don't think this is good just because it costs three mana and like you're not really saving that much. That's a late Temple Garden. What's Temple Garden going for? Like a dollar? Seventy cents. Uh, that's not good. That's not good. It's probably just Guildgate here. There's literally nothing else that we can even care about in the red, blue, or black area. Devious cover-up is fine, but I'm not, like, I'm not excited about it. Um... This is very strange. This is a late Smelt Ward Minotaur. We could be blue red, just splash the black for these off like the guild gate, which is an option. I think it's probably smelt more smelt ward minotaur. Chance for glory. That is a mythic. I'll take the electromancer. All right, see these are reasonable picks that we're getting. Ladev champion is nice, but we're definitely not. Uh, Seventy. I'm tempted to take the temple garden just and like hold on to it. I love the way you smelt that one time. Whatever that means.
Oh, beacon bolt. All right. Now we're getting some perks. Yeah, we're definitely... The, the Izzet cards are pretty strong. That is a sixth pick beacon bolt, which is... A seventh pick beacon bolt, which is pretty nice. I don't hate maximize altitude just because it uh, it's good for things like beacon bolt, and I don't think it's either of these. We're not we're not an undergrowth deck. We're a beacon. We're a we're a jump start deck, boys. I feel like you're a man that I actually don't smoke so. I appreciate you saying so, because I feel like there's a certain uh, certain quality to that, but yeah, I'll take a maximized velocity. We are a spells deck. We have both of these for spells. And this guy, but these, this is not going to hit for those. Narcomiba came back? Y'all ain't got no respect. Dazzling lights. Do, 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 Dazzling lights. I don't care about Wishcoin Crab, but I care less about these two, so I'll just take the Crab. Wow, these green cards are extremely late. I don't love the way the deck looks so far, but I don't actually dislike it either. I think most of these are playable. I have no idea why Narcomiba is a rare. Like, that's pretty ridiculous. That's a good one. I'm just going to take that. That is a solid card. Artful Takedown and Deadly Visit might be worth splashing for. Probably Artful Takedown more so because it's not double black. Deafening Clarion is also not bad to splash, but I have no reason to give up the really good black cards we have, especially if we can just take another black card. Unexplained Dispersal, also good. Leapfrog, also fine, but... Uh, I like Child of Night just because it's a nice... Actually, black is the card we're, color we're splashing, right? There's no real good red cards in here. <laughs> and the blue cards are pretty rough. Are we splashing red? That seems bad. I could take this guy. Selective Snare is okay. It's just a two-mana bounce spell most of the time. I'm not a big... I'm not a big fan of Bodyguard. Not a big Bodyguard fan. I think it just might be Selective Snare. At, at worst, it's a Sorcery Speed Bounce spell. Yikes. Integrity Intervention is real good. I'm going to take the second Command of the Storm. I would like this Guildgate, but I've seen like at least three Demir Guildgates in this pack, so... I imagine one of them can come back to us. Is a Guildgate seems good. Second Smelt Ward Minotaur seems pretty okay. I like a Dark Blade Agent. We don't have a lot of... Um, we don't have a lot of surveil right now, so I'm not super on this guy. This guy's just good. I'm going to take the land, though. 
I don't think any of those cards are more important than having just a decent number of fixing. McNissa, thank you so much for continuing the gift sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Hellkite Whelp seems pretty okay, but we do have a lot of five drops already. I like Muse Drake. I also like Goblin Electromancer. <laughs> uh, Goblin Electromancer is not... Eh, it's actually we have two Command the Storm and Arful Takedown and a Beacon Bolt right now that can take advantage of the, the Electromancer. I'm not in the market for another five drop just yet. I'd rather just have the second Electromancer make sure we're on point. Uh, I'm going to take this Gateway Plaza. I like Cosmotronic Wave. It's it's a good card to have a one of, but I'd rather just have a third fixing land here. I will take a Leapfrog. Mirror Guildgate Plague Crafter. Is it Locket? It might just be Guildgate here again. I don't know how many Guildgates we're going to need. I feel like, eh, Plague Crafter is also black. We're not, we're not base black. I probably just want the Guildgate here. Also, there's a ton of tokens in this format, so making them just sacrifice one does not seem ideal. This doesn't seem great. Zombie Lizard, though, is pretty cool. It's probably just Wall of Mist. While we fly over them and then reanimate our guy and fly over them again. Another wall of mist. I'll take the bodyguard this time. If we can attack with the wall, we can actually bodyguard onto it, which is pretty sweet. I don't really want to take rats here because we are not base black. Oh, Passwall Adept. I'll, I'll take that over a third Demir Guildgate for sure. Devious Cover-Up. I will play that. Burglar Rat. Got a rat anyway. Our deck actually turned out pretty decent alright. I'm okay with it. Also, Passwall and Bodyguard is good. Electromancers and Bodyguards are good. Wow. Holy Jesus. And there's a Night Veil Predator in the pack. This pack is friggin' insane. Oh my god. It's just Night Veil Predator. At least I feel like we can play a Night Veil Predator in our deck. Yeah, I'm just taking the Night Veil Predator. We're just going to be solid Grixes here. Jeez, that's busted, dude. Overgrown Tomb. Is that worth anything? I got to check all these dudes. A dollar fifty. Is that better than an Artful Takedown or a Whisper Agent or a third Electromancer or an Is It Guildgate? It'd be nice if it was a Steam Vent or a Watery Grave. Those I would actually feel good about taking. Capture Spear? I don't even know what that is. Is that oh Sphere? Capture Sphere. Uh yeah, that's not a Nightfell Predator though. 
I think it's Artful Takedown. I think it's probably better than the lands. My Zoni. Oh, Price of Fame? All right, we're like... There's a lot of black here. We're not a Sonic Assault deck. Definitely taking the Price of Fame. Ionize. Oh, that seems great. Oh, I really want to watch her in the mist, but I'm not going to pass a sick counter spell. Eh, I like having a disdainful stroke. I don't think we need a leapfrog here, do we? Guild Summit is gas, but we only have four guilds, so I'm not super on Guild Summit here. It's either Disdainful Stroke or Leapfrog. Probably Leapfrog. Hey, League Guild Mage. Alright, well, our deck's pretty solid. I can see taking out, like, maximum velocity here. Ah, Notion Rain. I think Notion Rain's obviously better than this. I don't care about either of these. I don't care about these either. I'll just take the Notion Rain. I don't know if we're going to play it, but... The Crackling Drake? Uh, this is not the same one, actually. This is a different Crackling Drake. Actually, this is probably great in our deck. I don't think it's a third Artful Takedown. We can take out this Wish Coin Crab. I can take out Selective Snare. I think I like Drake over the Takedown, especially in this deck. We don't actually have that many instants and sorcerers, though, do we? One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, we do. We have a good amount. I'm going to take the Drake. Another dead weight. Mesmerist, Hard Poisoner. I'll take the dead weight. I'm not sure if we're going to play a second dead weight, but. We can cut the Wall of Mist. We have enough two drops now. Also, Devious Cover-Up might not make the cut now that we have Ionize. Is it Guildgate is exactly what we wanted. That's great. Glad that came back. This deck looks very strong as well. Uh, I think the Bodyguard's fine. It attacks with this guy, makes this guy a 3-4. Uh, it can attack with Leapfrogs, even if, like, it can pump all of our two drops into... Make this, it can make this a 2-4, and then a 3-5. It can also make these 3-3s. Three yeah, I think it's totally fine. Also, if we maximize altitude on the bodyguard, it's even better. All right, another gate. Probably taking that over the Demir Locker. Demir Locket, rather. And a Demir Guildgate. All right. So now I wish we did get the... Uh, yikes. Never happened. Pilfering and Blast Pick. That's interesting. Yeah, I think the, the, the Bodyguard actually makes a bunch of our other cards a lot better. I can see putting the Burglar Rat in here too, just for the card advantage of it. We need one more playable. I can see Deadweight too. It's only 11 creatures. I kind of like the rat just because it does go well with the bodyguard. Seven tap lands. No beats. Thank you so much for the gifted sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. No shout out to the new sub. Him stopping in from the YouTube. I didn't even see it. I was in the I was in the zone. Nerdsta, thank you so much, man. Glad you could glad you could join in, join in the good times. 
I think it's actually Burglar Rat over second dead weight. We have a lot of uh, we have a lot of removal. A, a lot. I consider Night Veil take Night Night Veil Predator removal. Um, Beacon Bolt is removal. Yeah, this deck looks great. I might not play the Gateway Plaza. I might just play these six dudes. This comes into play tapped, but it also like requires a mana, so I can't play like two drop, turn three gate, two drop again. So I kind of want to avoid that. These are all blue lands, which is great. Um, so all of our color, all of our cards are gonna share the the blue, obviously. So we'll do this. These are all reds. These are all blues. Blue is obviously the most represented, which is great because we have all these. Um, all right. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, four, five, six, seven, two, three, four, five. So this is four. This is seven, four, five, six, seven. This is seven, 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 nine. That seems good. Let's do that. This deck seems great. I am okay with it. I'll keep this hand. Uh, despite not having any sorceries or instants for this guy and not having a black for the rat, I think it's still fine. Any black source lets us play rat. And this guy's just... Uh, I'll play this as an 0-4 that draws us a card and gets progressively bigger, so... Yeah, having a crackling drake with hexproof seems pretty bad. We could steal that guy if we want to. Oh, they didn't attack? Be oh, that's great. That's pretty okay. Got him. That guy's going to be hard to cast. Oh, also, Crackling Jake Woy Woyuk bodyguarded. This is a good position to be in. And we hit a swamp. Oh, my goodness gracious. So we can command the storm their guy, attack with both. This guy gets pumped. Oh yeah. That is fine, McMine. Oh yeah, that's good too. Oh, biscuits. Any one black source, we can play this. Any one regular land, we can play this guy. Without anything, we can play this guy. Yeah, this is all fine. Welp. Not what we were hoping for. We can also surveil and toss something in the graveyard. Also, we can just bounce this guy next turn, which is pretty nuts. I think we're just playing Rat here. Get one of the two cards out of their hand. Hey, Saru, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Always a pleasure. Yeah, we'll attack for two. This guy don't have reach. Next time we Dream Eater, bounce this attack with everything I am game mothers don't let your babies grow up to be siege worms they give it the life and then they take it away I mean it's 100% this bounce 
I guess we can actually attack, see how they block. Maybe they get blown out. Yeah, let's do that. If they want to trade here, I think that's actually fine. Or we could bounce this. No, we're definitely bouncing Siege Worm. Yeah, that's a fine trade. Our Drake is a 3-6 float boy. Five, six, seven. They can always replay this guy, but I don't think I'm going to care. They have one card. We just block the 2-2. Two -two. This is backbreaking. Uh, oh, whew. Uh, graveyard and... Graveyard and top and top. Putting two, two artful takedowns on top is pretty nuts. We could have also put them both in the graveyard and make this guy 5-6, but... You know. That was pretty brutal. Dream Eater is a hell of a drug. Artful takedown, kill tap. Goes to the graveyard, we deal four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just like to say thank you. The past few years have been tough for me and my wife. She was diagnosed with lymphedema oh, and depression. We lost our car and our home. We had to move back to Florida with the in-laws. And on top of that, my dog now has diabetes. But through it all because of you and your videos, I was able to laugh and smile. I love the winds and the salt. So keep doing what you're doing. Nerds to thank you so much for saying so, man. Um, wow, that's an insane compliment. Dude, I'm so sorry for everything. That sounds terrible. That's brutal. I hope things are looking up. Really appreciate the kind words and the uh, the support. Just making a two two, huh? Okay, that's actually better because now we can. Uh, choose both. Choose a creature to tap and kill. <clears throat> the old tap and kill. A classic. Well, that's just sad. Oh, no, it's not. We have concoct. <laughs> Yikes. Four, five, six, seven, eight... I guess I guess it depends on uh, one, two, three, four. Um, oh man, I want all of these. I guess I don't want this. Even if we don't have a second black, I think it's totally fine. We'll put you on top. Actually, hold on. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You have no cards. Yeah, we'll just put everything in the graveyard. We'll get Dream Eater. Uh, we'll put that in the grave. We'll put all these in the grave. Actually, I'll keep them. The it doesn't matter. Right, I'll put the swamp on top just so I can. And we'll bounce this guy. And we'll kill you. Exactly. One tap and kill book. Kerwit, thank you so much, buddy. Always appreciate it. It's okay, now I have a nice job. My brother's cancer is doing good. So, oh, this is great. This is great news. This feels like a dead weight matchup. I feel like I'd be okay with the dead weight.
this is limited, yes. Mothers, don't let your siege worms grow up to be cowboys. I think we're actually fine like this. We have a ton of removal. I don't know what I'd even cut for a second dead weight. Um, yep, again, I'll keep this hand because we get to, uh, Demir, Demir Guildgate into Demir Guildgate, which lets us cast our stupid deathy boy, <laughs> death touchy. Would you look at that? Is it Guildgate? It was a swamp. Oh man, they they went deep on the uh on oh dang it. On the floaty boy support. So if we play a land and play this, we'll go down to six cards, we'll draw two. Right? We'll go down to seven, go down to six, draw two, we'll have to discard, so there's no real reason to play a notion rain here. Hunted Witness. I feel like our hand is definitely stronger than whatever is going on over here. I do want to do this now. Oh, God, I got on both these, I think. This kills Siege Worm, which is important for us. This I can put in the graveyard because we have nothing for it. Same thing with Maximize Altitude. Both of these being in the graveyard are better for us, especially with Beacon Bolt, because... For reasons, I guess. Yep, take two. That is a big boy. What's up, big boy? do 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 I'm probably just going to kill that and tap another dude. They have two cards. What's up, CTB? Well, I hope we don't have a pump spell. Tap this guy. Kill this guy. One, two, three... I hope you don't have a combat trick. Hope you don't have a combat trick. You didn't have a combat trick. There's a song I wrote. It's called Hope You Didn't Have a Combat Trick. Don't let your babies grow up to have combat tricks. 4-4, four, four, Rosemane. Yep, had a feeling. I had a feeling about you. One, two, three, one, two, three. We can't do any of these things that we want to do. This is three. What did you do for Blizzard? Um, I actually did some Hearthstone casting for Blizzard. I wish I did more, but what can you do? Oh, I was going to do this in upkeep, then I got distracted. Dang it! Alright, let's do, do it again. Tap you, kill you. One, two, three, four. You didn't have it last turn. Hopefully you didn't draw it this turn. Kill all the four fours. Alright, so this is going to be Siege Worm. We're going to command it. We should be in fine shape. I'm going to keep... What is this now? Four? Yeah, this guy's just going to get it. We're like literally... Oh, this leapfrog could be doing a lot of work, but we're literally one mana away every single time. But this deals five now, so... 
it kills basically everything. Next time we're going to play two creatures. It's going to be alright. We got this. I don't care about that at all. One, two, three. One, two, three. I almost want to put one on here because these guys have reach. So if this guy starts floating, we can make the other not able to block. We're probably going to stop playing lands now because we have at least two uh, jumpstart cards in the graveyard. Uh, Bacon Bolt is other. Five other instant and sorcery cards in your graveyard. Uh, because it's going to be on the stack. Wow. <sighs> yep, that's a thing. Going to no cards here. <laughs> Can't block. All right. Taking a 2-5. They have one card. We have zero. But our board is a little better. We also have maximized altitude. Yeah, these guys don't do a ton. Yep, taking two here. It's actually pretty good. Maximize altitude is nice because we can put it on this guy and attack with everybody. So we get four in. We'll uh, mentor onto this guy. So it's eight in the air. Oh god, what is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, that's actually not terrible. I'll discard you. This guy can't block. It's all I can do to keep a floating for you. I mean, I guess we're just glad he doesn't have reach, right? Still 8 to 10. Stop playing big things. Okay. That's actually not terrible. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, 2 5, block here, chump you. Yeah, this is actually. I think we might just win here if we hit any spell. It's kind of like a spell. Just attack with everybody, right? Because we want to mentor onto this guy so they take seven. And then we just play Nightfell Predator. And we block here. And then we take two. What's up, the Mike, Hypo Mike Hypothesis? Good seeing you, buddy. Sure. <sighs> Lose to Xaxes. 
because you just happen to have double flourish in hand. <laughs> oh. Lucky, 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 lucky. Yep. Like you do. Cool. Fine. Keep bottom guild gate. Oh, we got to turn to Electromancer, which is nice. And we can cast uh, Night Veil Predator if we draw it. it. Might just be Frog. It is likely just Frog. And wow, three Demir Gilgates in my hand. Seems good. I like Burglar Rat here over just commanding this guy, but... Uh, Crush Contraband seems infinitely worse than Invoke the Divine. My Hypothesis, thank you so much, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. Uh, I'm just going to kill this guy. Thank Get in there. Hey, Frank Gospel Time. Hey, chat, Mike. You might not want to hear this, but you are if, but you are not okay. If you take an honest look at yourself, you will see that you are broken in so many ways. The church is broken. People will come to meet he who is whole. I don't know about all that, but I appreciate the resub. One, two, three, four. Siege Worm. Nope. Nope. Prey upon, eh? Okay. Okay. Oh, that's that's comforting. Get burgled on. Sprouting renewal. That doesn't even seem that good against us. All we saw was a one dead weight, right? Um, yeah, I'll just take two. Can we draw a dream eater? Bacon bolts are... That's actually pretty good. It holds the fort pretty well. 
Like now we can block all their guys profitably and we can still keep up ionized for anything that's unusual. Um, yeah, I don't want you to have that. Three meter. Is it Guildgate? Crops. <sighs> I'm going to keep this. We don't need more than six lands, and we also have... Uh, at least one card with jumpstart in the grave. It's three right now? Yeah. Okay, that's a lot of a lot of spiders here. It's even more lands. Seems good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've drawn eight lands. They have drawn four. Hard to really compete with that. We have a lot of good creatures that we can draw. Crackling Drake is great here. Night Veil Predator is great here. <sighs> sure. Can't kill this guy. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, it's, I mean, like, our deck is insane, and we just, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lands. Like, we've drawn three more lands. I mean, like, yep, sure. Go to two. Recon Bravo team. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Although, although this is not standard. <laughs> oh, cool. Magic's a cool game. Yep, awesome. Had a good time. Classic 1-2 with a great deck. Because of Flood. keep this hand. Turn to Burglar Rat and uh, we have a significant amount of red sources. Yeah, Flute Flarp. Definitely happens, buddy. Definitely happens. Happens a little too fucking frequently for me. No, no offense to you, but uh, definitely happens. Cool rat. I mean, beetle. I feel like there's no way this rat, this beetle would be bigger than this rat, but I don't know how Ravnica works, so... 
Well, that's a good one. Yep, here we go. <laughs> that's fantastic. Oh, yeah. So I guess I could add more land so I can hit my land drops, but then I'll just flood like I did last game, so... Is your sub still 572? I don't know what that means. It says that on the screen, right? I mean, it's current. I mean, they're probably going to go down momentarily. But. Hey, we hit a land. Six mana for... I guess they missed a land drop, too, so... Well, I don't want to really think about it, man. Like, I'm not really in the mood to think about me losing 170 subs. Like, it's not going to be super fun for me. So I don't know why you keep bringing it up, dude. Like, it's just... It's something I'm not looking forward to at all because I feel like I've made a lot of progress, but... Like, if it happens... When it happens, it happens. Like, I'm not going to... I'm not counting the minutes for sure. Second red into any other land would be great. Any other non guild gate land. But we do have five guild gates. I'm just going to have to kill this. Like, it's too good. It's too good to just hang around. Uh, well, I could put you in the graveyard and we'll just put you on top. I'll take three pretty easily here. Uh, I'm losing subs because there were 172 gifted subs in September, otherwise known as September. Um, so at a certain point, those gifted subs are going to expire, and we're going to plummet. And it's unfortunate because if I can stay over 500 for two months, and I have one month down now, um, I get to I get a higher share of revenue split than I than I do now. So actually, 500 is the the cutoff point for that. And you just have to maintain 500 for two months. So. Oh, every sub definitely helps. For sure. Time to just kill this guy. I feel like we're in great shape in this game. We could also just bounce it. I'll tell you 10 apology box, but just, dude, don't even worry about it, man. I don't want you to do all that. I just don't want you to bring up like, hey, you're going to lose 170 subs today. Like, it just don't, as long as you don't bring it up, we're good. I guess I can wait, right? There's no target creature gains like hexproof cards, right? Recon Bravo team, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, even though we're we're drafting standard here. Ha <laughs> ha, as the kids say. If we wait, I think we got in less damage, because if we played it now, we could have actually surveilled some instants or sorceries into the graveyard, but... What do we want here? We Oh, I guess we just win the game. Wow, that's all you need. Also, ionize, and uh, I hope they don't see this. It would have definitely taken a lot of those. Oh, what? Wait. Did they just concede the whole match? All right, that was strange. Uh, yes, yeah, so Assassin's Trophy is definitely the bomb that people want to get from this set. That is 100% the, the card to go for. Uh, this hand seems great. I will keep it.
Let's lighten the mood a bit. What are your hottest take on the format that many will disagree? I have, I actually, I don't know. That's a good question. What does your name mean? Troll Bonist. What does that mean? It sounds like a troll botanist or a trombonist, but mixed with troll. Troll trombonist. Nailed it. Nailed it. I totally nailed it. Oh. Oh. I'll give you one then. I have the exact opposite of a vast games. Doom Whisperer is like one... It, Doom Whisperer is probably not going to have any impact on standard whatsoever. Uh, that's in any sort of meaningful way. That is my hot take. There's two trombonists in the chat right now? That's gas. I want to... Nope, doesn't matter. I guess it doesn't matter. Bodyguard doesn't do much here. So we go to six, we go to five. Yeah, we can actually play Chocolate Rain here. <laughs> Recon Bravo team. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Man. Thank you. You are a good dude. Yeah, so the thing is, if people keep gifting subs, then we'll just never die. Are you really dissing the French horn? French horn seems pretty fine. I'm going to keep both of these. And then I'm going to draw both of them. Recon Bravo team, thank you so much, buddy. You. you are a good dude. The best type of dude. Frank seems sad. Here are some, some cheer you up subs. Oh, man. Yep, that's uh, why I consistently say my chat is probably some of the best people around. If you guys, if if my chat, uh, if I could just, if there was an FNM or a Grand Prix and the only competitors were my chat, I would go to every single one. I would just be like, can we hang out? Are you recording? Maybe. What's it worth to you, buddy? Ooh, an Ionize. Troll bonus bio visionary thank you so much for the troll bonus sub we actually could yeah there's probably enough people in this chat to form a uh, a trombone what's going on right now the third tail <laughs> five more subs oh my god this is too much I can't I can't right now you guys are amazing what's even happening right now what's even going on What's he? Why? How am I even? How is this real? I wish I had a second red here. I would play that for sure, because then I can keep this guy and the ionize. Thank you, Tano's. <laughs> Third tail. Thank you so much, buddy. Enjoy work. <laughs> oh, do you still go to GPs or PTs? Uh, no, not really, because I don't really care. I will be going to GP Detroit. No, not Denver next week. So if you guys are interested in, if you guys are going to that, uh, I'll be there. You can say, hey. Uh, I had some friends who were like, hey, we like to team with you. And we just, I'm just going to have fun. I don't care if I do well. Um, it's just some two friends from Seattle. And they were like, hey, we're thinking of going to Grand Prix Detroit. Or Denver. I keep saying Detroit. Uh, Grand Prix Denver. And uh, we'd like, we wanted to see if you wanted to be on the team with us. And I was like, yeah, that sounds awesome. Let's do that. Not gonna lie, I think Matthew are making the sub situation known deserves some love. <laughs> but he didn't do it for that reason. I'll never give Matthew Ori. No, I, Matthew Ori is great. Um, so, what was I saying? Did someone ask something? Yeah, hit me up at Denver. Let me know who you are. And then I'll be like, oh, I know you. I'm gonna play this Demir Guildgate and just keep up eye and eyes here. I don't think we're playing this guy. I think I'd rather just keep up Dream Eater next turn, too. I think I said everything I needed to say there. I totally forgot what I was going to say, but... Doom Whisperer sucks. That's what I'm saying, man. This is what I'm saying, Troll Bonist. I I'm, gonna bring, I'm thinking of bringing my cube. 
And if I bring my cube, I'm tempted that we should all get together and draft my cube. Would, it, would that be cool? Can we do that? This is not an ionizable spell, but it kind of is. Do I care about this? Oh, Kerwit. One second red buck. <laughs> you, missed, you missed my buck. Did you not see my buck? God, I really don't think I care about this, but this guy's good. No, I'll ionize it. I don't like it, but I'll do it. I did donate some to MTG bot once and the water bot. Oh my god. Oh, look at this little Demir cutie. Demir spy cutie. Oh, I like a bacon bolt. I'm probably just going to kill this now. Can't do anything else, though. The one red is really pinching us here. Kerwin, I'll have you know that I'm literally not eating any of the Japanese candy uh, until I can stream it so that you can witness all of it. I'm just going to pass here. I do like getting this guy on the board, though. But this is such better value. Yeah, I can't. I can't not play that guy. Plus, we can put a red on top, and then we can go bodyguard into Bacon Bolt. Card's very good. We're gonna definitely commanding the storm that thing. Commanding the storm that thing. That's a sentence. That's an English sentence. Don't have disdainful stroke. It would really break my heart. I don't want you to have it. Because I would be real sad. Can you not have disdainful stroke? Because I'd be real sad. I don't think there's a removal spell you could have here, actually. Oh, is it Guildgate? Alright. You can go in the graveyard. All of the rest are very, very good here. Um, we're going to put you last. Or, actually, we'll put you last... Then you, and then you. And we're going to bounce you. They could have a dead weight, but that's really it. I guess they could have the bounce spell. Sure. That doesn't seem great. Next part of cool stuff is having a 10-pack sealed event. I'll be there just saying, well, I'm going to be in the Grand Prix. I want to be in Denver. Rocky Mountain High, Colorado. I mean, I guess you get to save your Muse Drake, but... Don't have dead weight? They did not have a dead weight. Can't get enough of that gun and crisp. I feel like Bolt here is pretty good. Kill this guy. We can wait for this guy. Next turn we can play both of these. Or we can just play the Drake. If you like Pino Colados. And getting caught in the... Recon Bravo team, it's post-work, pre-Friday night nap time. Have a good nap, buddy. Really appreciate it. 
They have three cards. We don't know any of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is four and six. We can actually play both of these, which is nice. Well, now we cannot. That's so... Well, no, we still can. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Or we can just, just play this. But I'm pretty sure we're killing this. One, two, three, four. And we'll bodyguard. Next card is another Command the Storm, right? That's pretty good. Crackling Drake is a 4-4. Four, four. Read up to my comment. Uh, hey, come pick me up in Baton Rouge, shiny way to Denver. You can argue politics the whole way there. Oh, God, Matthew, right, no way, buddy. I would definitely pick you up, but I would definitely not argue the politics all the way there. Um... I mean, GP with friends or a 10-pack sealed event with someone you never met before. Now that I say that out loud, never mind. <laughs> I mean, we're basically friends. I, I feel like I'm pretty close to friends with most of the people in my chat. I feel like we're all just hanging out, right? We're just having a good time. Having a good time. Also, definitely not driving to Denver, so, uh, so don't think that. All right, we're just going to attack here. I have, I have a feeling you have Artful Takedown here, which is really sad. Yep. No, this is not an Artful Takedown. Oh, Jesus. Not a big fan of that because we can't uh, play Crackling Drake as well. Why is Maximize Altitude any good? Because it can give this guy flying, uh, which also lets us mentor onto something else. Like if we attacked with both this turn, we could attack, we could uh, mentor and make two three threes. Uh, also, just flying is good. It's good with Beacon Bolt. It's good with Crackling Drake. It has a lot of synergies in our deck. I just like it. I'm, I'm the biggest fan of the mentor ability because we have a lot of two twos. First, we make a two two a three three. Then we make this guy a four four, and then we attack with this guy, and he becomes a four four. So, <laughs> I'm gonna boil you some shrimp. <laughs> oh, that's great. All right, coming back down. Oh, we're in the combat step. I guess he's not coming back down just yet. I eat no seafood. I am a seafood free man. I don't eat no sea bugs. If you're trapped on a desert island with nothing but a bottle of cheese, was to sustain yourself? Would you prefer starving to death? It would be close. I think it depends on how much time goes by. Why don't you attack with that dude who can't attack? <laughs> it's a good question. Solid, solid question. Are crawdads? Are those swamp bugs? Cheezus is not terrible, right? Like it's not the this monstrosity that people make it out to be. That being said. It's, I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna want to sustain myself off of it for extended periods of time actually that's not gonna work we gotta go red red blue blue Drake that was pretty okay I think we're in good shape here I would have liked to kill the guild mage before it could actually surveil but burglar rat all right maximize altitude is great let's do that or even try to fool you see right now we could maximize altitude on this guy so it can't be blocked and then we get to pump the leapfrog if we hit any land here or just a card we want to put in the graveyard 
might actually get better. Tap you, kill you. But up, up, but up, but up, but up, up. Disdainful stroke. Could have any counter spell. Waiting to pay costs. Maybe. No, they're just going to activate in response. That seems fine. So, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... Yeah, this is just game. Or not. They have a bouncy spell. On that guy? Huh. Alright, well, they go to 3. And I have no cards in hand. All right, so I guess we can actually kill the Drake. The Drake is a bigger threat, right? And this guy gets float, so it doesn't really matter. Because these are both lethal and they have one card in hand and they both fly, so... This deck is sweet, except for when it dies. I think we're good. I almost want the Devious cover up instead of like the Deadweight. The Deadweight doesn't seem to do much. I guess they have the 2 2. They also have a Dream Eater of their own. I'm going to bring the cover up in. Take out Maximize Altitude, I guess. I like the weight because it does give us an answer to an early thing, like a Goblin Electromancer. I guess they're blue-black. So, I mean, the Guild Mage is pretty problematic. I don't really want to have them keep that on board if we can avoid it. Like I posted a link, <laughs> I posted a link to the uh, the article on Patreon, the um, the Grixis burn deck that I that I played the other day on Patreon, and I wrote up an article about it, and I put that up this morning, and someone just commented and they're like, "Do you have a video of the Niv Mizzet control deck? I love your videos. Would love to see Niv Mizzet in action." And I'm like, "Oh, you mean to get around Patreon?" <laughs> like, because in the video, I in the article, I literally say that uh, that the video is going up. But it's just funny because I'm like, it's even like, hey, man, would you like this this article? It's $1 for the entire month. That's it. It's really the you know, a small price to pay. 
and they're like, oh, that that's that's cool. Um, is there any way I can uh, not pay that? And you can just tell me about it? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe there's a way I can do that. Welp. That's a good card. Like, it's just funny because they worded it in such a way that it's like a supportive message. I'm like, hey, this is me. I'm, you know, I really love your stuff. But they also like, they're like, they're not asking for the list directly. They're just like, hey, do you have a video? Maybe I could see the video. It's just like. A swamp off the top would be just spectacular. I'm not going to block any of these guys, I don't think. That was a good... That was a deal. That was a good... That was a deal. I wish this was a swamp. Unfortunately, nay. <laughs> Hey, fashion late to the party so they can counter it. They did not counter it? Oh, boy. Well, that's pretty good. Yep. That's fine. I can deadweight that guy next turn. Block here. I'll take three. So, actually, okay, this is nice, because we can do all the things we want to do here. Kill this, kill this, and still keep up a command of the storm in hand. Alright, let's see how many cards go on top. I feel like we're still a little behind, though. I don't love it. It doesn't matter if the rat's tapped. Eighteen, twelve, fifteen, eleven, thirteen, ten, ten, nine. Eh. A few turns it adds up. No blocks. Real tempted to not play anything. Again, a second red would be nice here. 
but like if they don't play anything, we're fine. And if we play this, then when they tap out right now to play Dream Eater, and they, they just get to bounce something and we don't get to do anything about it. Well, now we feel bad. Feels bad. Feels Batman. They didn't actually attack first, which was nice. Mountain. Artful takedown. Fifteen to twelve, though. I think our hand is actually significantly better, so I'll just deal with it. They attack, we block. Mm. This seems fine. You got a trick? Oh, you do have a trick. It's, I don't care. I don't care. Little cat man all grown up? What does that even mean? What are you guys saying right now? Sure. Discard a card. I forgot we had to do that. I'll get rid of the bodyguard here. I don't really feel like he's doing much for us. Ah, D&D &D type stuff. Got it. I'm just going to pass. End of turn, I'll probably command lightning this guy. Something. This game went awry somewhere at some point. Stop playing things. Doom Whisperer. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just going to kill it. Can't actually bounce anything. That was a great draw. Uh, kill you. Two, three, four. And Guild Mage. Guild Mage should help us take over this game if it survives. Dead weight. Severed. Sure. So two for two. They lost Moose Drake and Severed. Actually, one for one. Oh, I like Rat and keeping up Devious Cover Up. Now we have. Now we can actually shuffle some good stuff back in the deck. That's pretty nice. This is actually pretty good. We have Parody now, and we can shuffle back in like League Guild Mage, Night Veil vale Predator, and maybe like an Artful Takedown. Yep. League, Artful, Command, and Predator. Oh yeah, shuffle them in. Shuffle them in! Four gas spells, significantly better than drawn. Butt kiss. Bup kiss? Butt kiss? 
Uh, graveyard. Top yard. I'm just going to play the land here. We want a second red, so. Dream Eater seems like a really good threat here. <laughs> Set up the deck, and they have to have both a removal spell, and we can bounce whatever they play. Yeah, that's getting bounced. I'm not gonna. Maybe we. Maybe they play something else. We bounce that, and then we block with the Dream Eater. I don't know if that's gonna happen, but. Oh, what do you do when you want everything? Put in Graveyard. Wow. Put on top, put on top, put on top. Yeah, I'm just going to bounce this guy. I'm going to make you replay it. Which actually means we should have played Connive. Or put Ionize on top. Maybe we just steal it. Steal it, play Leapfrog in the same turn. Because then we have Ionize on top. Yeah, this seems good. And our next cards are Ionize League Guild Mage. Yeah, that seems insane. Yeah, this is why I wanted to keep this in hand, but we're still very far ahead. Because then we can get this guy back. But, I mean, we still have almost as much power on board, so. Like, instead we added two instead of four, and we're getting an, an attack now instead of next turn after recasting it, so. I think this is totally fine. Like, it's lethal on board. This is even worse. Uh, I'm going to let you have this because it puts you to four. I think the game has ended. This is another deck that probably should have went 3-0, but what can you do? Sometimes you feel like a flood. Sometimes you don't. Oh, man, Joe's got floods. Mounds don't be... Yep, yeah, we're just going to ionize this because the alternative is discarding it. Good games. Good games. And that'll do. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below. As I said, I just posted a pretty sweet standard Grixis burn list. So you guys can check that out. Uh, it's in the article that I wrote today. And uh, yeah, slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. really appreciate it.